So the other night I was watching She-Hulk, probably the worst piece of media Marvel has ever released, besides like Thor 2 and the Eternals. And Black Widow was pretty bad too. And after putting myself through two and a half episodes, I started wondering, what makes She-Hulk and Captain Marvel so different from good female heroes like Sarah Connor and the Powerpuff Girls? And after hours and hours of watching terrible Disney Plus shows, I figured it out. And it can be broken down into four things. And in this video, we'll go over why female superheroes suck. Number one, perfection. Every single female superhero is perfect. And not in the same way Hawkeye is. I mean, not everybody could be Hawkeye. What I mean is that they're good at everything for no reason. They're good people, they're good heroes. I mean, they might even be able to file your taxes and that just makes them boring. Like tell me one interesting thing about Captain Marvel besides her haircut and the fact that she's overpowered. Exactly, you can't. And it's not like she's overpowered in the same way Superman is. Superman still deals with day-to-day -day struggles like having a job, wanting to fit in, being gay. But Captain Marvel, everything in her life is fine and dandy. The only challenge she really had in her movie, if you can even call it that, was her mentor, and she literally one-shotted the dude. It's like Marvel's afraid of giving these women challenges, because the patriarchy is a big enough challenge already. Another example of this perfection thing is She-Hulk. From the very first episode, we get told how amazing she is at being a lawyer and just being an amazing person in general. And correct me if I'm wrong, but the 20 minutes after that, I don't see nothing amazing happen. We get some corny jokes, we get her anime training arc, then refusing to be a hero, and then she pretty much little bros the Hulk. You lost the love of your life, your best friend, were enslaved for two years, and tried to c*** yourself? Damn, you're a bigger b than I thought. Tighten up, bro. I get catcalled every single day. This is perfect. And let's say in a hypothetical world she was, what does that do for the character? How is someone supposed to relate to that? Where is the room for growth? And that brings us to the next point, character development. I kid you not, Steve from Blue's Clues had more development than some of these characters. One of them being America Chavez from the latest Doctor Strange movie. She's a super powered girl who can open portals to other universes. And if you ask me, that's pretty dope. But the problem is she doesn't trust her power since when she was little, she accidentally sent her parents to another universe. <laughs> And that's a lot of trauma to unpack. It'd probably take at least a few years to get back to trusting yourself. But Marvel said nah. So instead of going through trial and error and proving to herself that she could actually use her powers for good, all she needed was a little talk no jutsu from our boy Doctor Strange. I mean, uh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? You know, next time I'm trying to bench 225, I'm gonna just tell one of my boys to give me a little pep talk and I'll be good. I'll be good. It's just unrealistic. You think a pep talk would have saved Austin McBroom from getting knocked out? No. But I can't lie. There are characters of character development like Scarlet Witch. She started off as evil, she lost her brother, became a hero, then lost her husband, and then came WandaVision. And look, WandaVision was pretty good until the ending. After mind controlling a whole town of people, she faces no repercussions just cause she freed them after. They'll never know what you sacrificed for them. Like, are you stupid? Do you know how much lost time that was? What if, what if like Bitcoin hit 100K in that time and I just missed out on it? Or even worse, I missed out on the whole Fortnite season. Talking about, they'll never know what you sacrificed. You mean them fake ass kids? But you could be out here kidnapping entire families and it's no big deal. You inconsiderate fuck. And that brings us to the third point, accountability. For some reason in Marvel, if you're a girl and your intentions are good, doesn't matter what you do. For example, Carly from Captain Falcon and the Winter Soldier. She's literally a straight up terrorist. Like she kills people, innocent people. <laughs> There's still people in there. This is the only language these people understand. This nigga is crazy. And she's not once, nah, I mean not once, seen as the villain. If anything, she's applauded. Where was my applause when I allegedly stole from Target as a kid? All I got was an ass whooping. But the truth is, the reason these shows and movies get terrible ratings is not because of bad character development, bad writing, or even boring topics. The real problem is men. Yes, the fourth and final reason these shows and movies get terrible ratings is because of men. Well, at least that's what the creator of She-Hulk believes. She also believes if you don't like the show, you're a sexist, misogynistic, maybe racist, incel virgin Andrew Tate fan. And honestly, she couldn't be more right. It is a known fact that every male on this planet is a misogynist. We just hate women. Like we even hate our moms. So to compensate for the whole male gender, I've decided to become the first, yes, the first male She-Hulk fan. Thank you. Thank you. And to prove my newfound love for this amazing show, we'll react to an episode together.
What is the responsibility of those with- Yeah, I can't watch this shit. On a serious note, the reason these Marvel female-led shows and movies suck is because Marvel doesn't know how to write female characters. It's not because they're women. Because like I said in the beginning, there's people like Sarah Connor, Powerpuff Girls, and Ripley from Aliens who did an excellent job of displaying that women can be heroes too. Just not as good as men. In conclusion, She-Hulk may have terrible CGI, terrible jokes, terrible character development. Where was I going with this? Cause I never miss, 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 I never miss, miss, yeah, yeah, I never miss, miss, miss.